So today we're going to be talking about Catherine Knight, which okay. is a very famous name. So I think quite a few people might know this one. Was there a Netflix thing about it? No. I hope not. It's the only way you know anything, is it? <laughs> yeah. 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 Netflix and I wouldn't it. know that. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Catherine so, Knight. Yeah. Spelt like night or spelt like night? Irrelevant. Yeah, spelt like night, actually. <laughs> um, yeah. So Catherine lived in Australia and she worked at a slaughterhouse. Good right. start. Yep. Um, she Can't worked. Vegan, say. <laughs> <laughs> she worked in the born room. So she was like, <laughs> not the official name. <laughs> Can you just call that from the bone room, yeah. please? <laughs> yeah. No, it has a name, something bone room. I'm sure. Right. But she worked in the bit that got all the flesh and all the everything off the bones, making sure the bones were clean. And apparently, she loved this job. She found it really therapeutic. Mm. And someone's got to do it. Yeah, and she was really good at it as well. Apparently, she right. got things done really quickly. She was really good with a knife. Anyway. <laughs> Just imagine, imagine that on your Tinder. You should swap right on there on Tinder. Yeah. Oh, I'm really good with a knife. Uh, I work in the bone room. Super oh. like. <laughs> yeah, so she met this guy called David and they had a very abusive relationship. I think that David thought that he could easily abuse Catherine and she'd just take it, but she was a strong woman. She she wouldn't even just try and put a stop to it. She'd abuse him back straight up. Yeah. Um, and they just existed in that relationship and eventually she persuaded him to get married. And so they did. And on their wedding night, she actually got really, really angry because they had sex on their wedding night and he just rolled over and went to sleep. And she wanted to do it again. But right. he didn't. Because she'd heard from like friends and family and everyone that you do it more than once on your wedding night. And she thought that her husband was not... Do you do it more than once? <laughs> Ever? Because I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> yeah, so he rolled over and went to sleep and she was fuming and so she tried to strangle him on their wedding night. As you do. And luckily he woke up, like pushed her off, her, off him, like calmed her down and whatever and they went back to bed. And after that, they just... <laughs> How can you go back to bed? Just you woke up. Fucking strangle your you. new wife has just tried to murder you and you're like, get to sleep, girl. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and then, weirdly enough, after that, they just carried on being married for 10 whole years. Fucking hell. After, he tried to, after she tried to Start kill Start as you mean to go on. Um, Jesus. And eventually they split up. She got this new boyfriend, again called David, David number two. And again, it was abusive. And she stabbed him with a pair of scissors during an argument. During one argument as well, she grabbed their two-month-old puppy and slit its throat. Just oh, my oh. fucking God. Show him what she was capable of. What a said. mental bitch. What were they yeah. arguing about now? Fuck that. And the same, same kind of he wouldn't finger her. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I was going to say, you can't... Unless, I they got it from like a dodgy farm... The youngest you can actually get a puppy is eight weeks, so she must have literally only just got it as well. That was two months. That's what I mean. So that's oh, so right. she would have only just got it. Oh, literally just got a puppy. Yeah. yeah, this is America. You can do it. Is it America? Yeah, Australia. 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 Oh, oh fair. So yeah, she eventually. Well, that second David ran for the hills. After that, mm. you're not going to stay with a woman that just killed your puppy. No. Yeah, and so that. she got with a guy called John. And Mixing it up. Yeah. Six of the Davids. That. Respect that. And this relationship with John, again, was very abusive. They ended up splitting up. Um, and then she got in a relationship with John number two. No. John number she two. She loves squaring him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John was called John Price. And this relationship, again, was very, very abusive. And this time it was kind of more mentally abusive. She got in his head and she like called his work and made him lose his job and she would call police and say he's abusing me like I'm I'm the victim and everything when it was mutually abusive in this relationship but she was ruining this guy's life she'd never done it like quite this bad before and eventually John Price gets a restraining order from Catherine um, but that don't work obviously she's a psycho Yeah. so she continues coming home to this house that they share and he's like well what am I supposed to do she's not going to go with the restraining order I've just got to let her do her thing otherwise she'll go psycho so she keeps coming home from work every night and on this one particular day she comes home everything's fine they're like a normal couple again they go to bed and they have sex and it's only once and she don't like that so she turns to her nightstand grabs a butcher's knife that she just keeps in a nightstand by the way <laughs> and turns around and stabs John Price multiple times 
after that, <laughs> so he obviously wakes up in his sleep and he's like trying to run away from her. He runs out of the bedroom. There's blood all over the light switch from where he's like tried to turn the lights on. Mm. Um, he's running down the hallway and there's blood absolutely <laughs> everywhere. There's blood trails across the wall where his hands have like glided on the walls. Mm. Um, and these are getting lower and lower and lower, showing that he's mm. like collapsing until eventually they stop at the front door. However, there's a huge pool of blood on the like on the floor in front of the front door. So they think that she got to him just before he got a chance to escape. Oh. And after that, she beheaded him. First thing she did, beheaded him. <sighs> oh, right right there in this. front of the front door. And she took his head by the hair, took it to the kitchen, put it in a pot on the stove filled it with water and started boiling it. And then she goes back to the body and she drags the rest of it back into the kitchen and she begins skinning it because she wow, knows that's what how to she do does. this. Yeah. yeah. She skinned the whole body, hung it up from the kitchen door on meat hooks, like a curtain. What? And then she cut his back flesh into five different little fillets and cooked them all in the oven, oh. cooked some vegetables, cooked some potatoes, plated up four meals and put them on the table of her husband's flesh. Now, something I didn't tell you earlier is that he actually had two kids to a previous marriage and so did she. So that makes four children. And so police think that those four meals she was going to try and feed to the kids. Oh my oh fucking my God. God. And the fifth one she put in the dog bowl. Oh, but she didn't have a puppy anymore. Well, she might have got anyone <laughs> Oh, what a sick bitch. I have a really strange thing about that. I actually know this story. And it's I told you the other day, you're gonna find this weird. Actually, you might like it. Um <laughs> Thanks. I <laughs> I know it don't look like it, but I like to go to the gym sometimes. And on my treadmills, we can you can watch YouTube and stuff on the screens. And I watched like an hour-long documentary of this whilst running. And I remember it was showing like scenes from the house and I was just thinking if anyone behind me could see what I'm watching now, <laughs> I look like the weirdest cunt. Yeah. Like you get a pump on to but that. But didn't yeah. she stay in the house afterwards yeah. and they found her asleep in the bed? Yeah, so the thing is, when she finished all of that, she must have only finished it a couple of hours before police arrived because this John Price had told people at work, like, look, if anything happens to me, it was Catherine. Like, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not going to go missing. So if anything happens... Go straight to the house, it's her. So immediately when he didn't show up to work, they called police who arrived at the house. They found this whole scene. By the way, when police walked in, they found all this blood in the corridor and then they saw this curtain oh, up in the fuck. kitchen. And One of them skin. goes and moves this curtain and they're like walking around in the kitchen seeing everything else. And then this guy realises that his arm is wet, looks at it and it's covered in blood. He thought that that was, was just, just a normal curtain. curtain, but it was this guy's skin. Oh, Fucking oh. hell. Um, yeah. Fuck oh, me. Oh, man. Uh, I think... Uh, that makes me... Uh, this, about, this just makes me terrified of people. I mean, yeah. she, at least she cooked up some vegetables with it. Do you know what healthy. I mean? Healthy. Yeah, healthy. healthy not Did, just... Didn't they find something still in the pan as well? Like the head the or head. something? Yeah, the head yeah. was just inside. Oh, yeah. After that, she must have only finished that a couple of hours before police got there. She went up, back up to the bedroom where there was loads of blood in the bed and whatever. She didn't care. And she took a load of pills. Now, they don't know whether she was trying to kill herself or just trying to sedate herself just until police got there and whatever. Um, but when they went in the house, they looked all around downstairs. They went upstairs and they could hear someone snoring. It was just her in the bed, asleep. Wow, just casual. She was tired. So after she, that. <laughs> she was pretty easy to detain then. Fuck. Again, I want to see her face. What's her name? Suzette? What, Catherine Su Knight, Catherine. spelt with a K. Catherine Knight. Does she look like the kind of person that would skin a human man? I'll let you know. What? That's her. Ginger. Uh, I think she's ginger. She looks like a like an old nan. She what? looks like a like an she old. She must have been pretty old. She was married for ten years at one point. <laughs> Fucking hell! That does not look like how I imagined she would. She just looks like an old lady. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, fifties. Curly hair. Forty fifties. 50s. Oh my god. 40s with a hard life. A fucking hard life. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Right. Uh, the, there we go. Amazing. The story of Catherine Knight. Eleanor, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.
head over to our channel. You've got loads of these types of videos in yeah, here. You've got too many. So many. So if you're into true crime and stuff like that, I highly recommend you go you go and do it. It's uh, amazing. It's been spooky, to say the least. It's I've got chills. You yeah. did just tell us about a ginger woman that murders men and you oh, happen, well. happen to be one. So yeah, <laughs> Not one who murders men. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah, check her out. And um, there we go. 